So if we're looking at this equivalence relation where things are equal and nothing else is equivalent, notice that that doesn't simplify your object at all, right? That doesn't simplify the set. And that doesn't simplify the set because notice that the equivalence class here or the equivalence classes here are just the singletons, right? Remember the equivalence classes are everything equivalent to a point, right? But if the equivalence class is a singleton, you didn't cut your set up into any pieces, right? Yeah. That would be like, well, let's do group work today. Let's just have four groups. I mean, that's the same as individual work, right? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, on the other end would be uh, the largest um, equivalence relation. And in this case, uh, the largest equivalence relation is just A cross A. So in other words, like, I don't know, we would write this as like A comma B, um, where A and B both come from A. So in other words, everything is equivalent to everything else. So we want to think about this as like being too big, because in this case, we've, we've chunked our set into chunks that are too big, right? Like, how many equivalence classes are there? There's one equivalence class, right? And that equivalence class is just the whole set. And this is going to be, well, for all A and A, like, because everything is equivalent to every other thing. And so if you're trying to, like, solve a problem related to this set, you don't need the full structure of the set. You don't need the full structure of the set, so you don't want to just, like, think about equality. You don't think about the elements individually. Well, you don't want to do this either, right? Because this wipes out any structure that was in the set. That would be like, oh, let's do group work. Uh, how about a group of four and let's just talk through it all together. Well, that's not like doing anything either, right?